All right, welcome back everybody. Beautiful day at Morgan Hill. Um, today we're getting a really exciting, um, fun little test in and we're gonna take the bike out onto the driveway. And I'm gonna test ride it to make sure I can actually steer this thing. Uh, we're not gonna have all the weight in it or the motor, so it won't be electrified on its own, but we'll be going down a hill and hopefully I can uh, figure out how to work the levers and everything to make sure I can keep it up at slow speeds. Um, if I can keep it up at slow speeds, then know, I know that I can actually control it at higher speeds. So this will be a fun little test. Um, there's gonna be a lot of logistics here. We're gonna use a little yard truck and um, hopefully some straps and we're gonna pull it up and down the hill and we'll get a little push start in there like a Jamaican bobsled team. So she's gonna be pushing real hard. Yep. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bike down my driveway. Uh, we're gonna push it and so I can get up to about five, 10 miles per hour and then I'm gonna try and balance it. We've got Carlos here, he's gonna be pushing, Amanda's gonna be pushing, and then we got a little tow truck to tow it back up the driveway so I can keep trying. So hopefully I can keep it out of the ditches on the side. So that'll be pretty bad, but I got a little tiny brain bucket I have on there. So wish me luck. Be a good one. Once you start to fall with these on, right, you can't get it back, and you have to. You're trying to turn into it to catch up to it, and then you just fall that way, and then you have to. You have to instantly, from the, yeah, right fall away, back yeah, the yeah. other way to get back in. It's it's totally weird.
was good. What do you think of today? Dude, first time scared the shit out of me. Second time I was like, I think he's got it. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. That was super cool. I'm really excited about the whole thing. Um, it took a couple tries to get it up, but I think once I got the hang of it and put my brain to it, and really started to focus, it all came to about how you control it by steering and everything. So um, it was a little weird because it would it basically fall and then I had to kind of turn, turn into it to get the momentum and then turn back in to tip the bike back up and then once it started to tip, I had to counter steer to kind of find out where that balance point was. But um, after after a couple tries, it didn't seem too bad anymore. So I'm really excited about how it turned out. Um, it's re looking really good for the whole entire project. I was a little worried that I might not be able to even control this thing or stay up. So I'm really pumped about um, how that went. And uh, you know, I, I think once I get up to higher speeds and get a little bit heavier, I don't think it's going to be as difficult. So hopefully those corrections will be smaller. I did uh, see that uh, after watching some of the footage that my handles were a little loose from side to side. So I'm going to go in and try and put some bigger bushings in there, or maybe some side pieces or and try and get that slop out from side to side. Other than that, there's a couple little screws that are, you know, kind of poking out that uh, are rubbing against my arm. I need to shorten those up, put some caps on it. But man, super crazy, super stoked, super stoked. Um, I can't, I can't, can't put it into words. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the episode and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I am trying to figure out what I'm going to name the bike. I've been thinking about Lark bike or some other stuff, but if you guys have any suggestions for names for the bikes, I'd love to hear it. So throw it down there in the comments and be sure to keep posted because I'm going to be moving forward with this project and hopefully running soon. So thanks so much. Have a good one. No offense, Shay, but if you fell, I'm a lot less concerned. Why? Because I feel like you fall from worse shit than this.